Hi, it's Robin's Flying Crochet. Welcome back to my channel. If you're just tuning in, thank you for joining me. I'm going to hear, sit here and talk about hashtag movie and stitch tonight. Um, I'm on the letter C. A lot of people are. And I did Christmas on the Square. I know it's February and I did Christmas um, instead of doing love. But, you know, love comes in many different forms and many different ways. So, um, besides. Uh, like I said before, it's Dolly Parton. I found the movie by accident during the month, ended of January. Had to watch it. I've watched it three times since I announced I was going to watch it. All three times I was crocheting something different. So I didn't have anything to actually show for it. So I was working on something. Um, anyway, so I went ahead and specifically put it on. So I could say I was working on this project because for some reason, I didn't watch it any time that I was doing any of my donation stuff. I don't know what my problem where I didn't pay attention and then I listed it my donation stuff in my every day, every week's finished objects, works in progress and um future plans. So I didn't have anything to show for tonight. So I purposely watched it Wednesday again, the third time. I don't care. I loved it. Um and I got something to crochet. So before I start talking about the movie, because I will forget to show the project, let me show the project that I did. Um, I was working on this. It is a doll outfit. I was using scraps, so I didn't know, and I don't have a way to measure my balls of scraps, so I didn't know how far I'd be able to get. I only really wanted it to be a two-tone dress. As you can see, it came out to be a three-tone dress. But even with it being three-tone, I still like it. And I can almost guarantee I know a little girl in my life who's going to end up with this for a Christmas present and probably a baby doll to go with it. So it's for an 18 inch dial, um, which is an American girl doll. She doesn't have one of those, but she does have an 18 inch dial. If not, you know, like I said, Christmas time is coming. That's, that's what we can do. So I'm going to get my book. I made some notes about Christmas on the Square. Of course, then I got to put down my peepers because I can't see anything without it, which then messes up my hair. So, ah, oh, it's just so hard to be gorgeous all the time. I don't know what to do. So, Christmas in the Square. It was made last December, before last December, 2020. Uh, stars Dolly Parton, TVPG. It is running currently on Netflix. Um, Dolly Parton plays a street woman and an angel. It's a musical. It's family. I love musicals. Runs for an hour and 38 minutes. Um, directed and choreographed with, was Debbie Allen, which I was like really shocked. There's a lot of people on this list of cast that I don't necessarily know who they are. Um, you know, there's only one that I really recognize besides Dolly Parton. The other ones I really didn't recognize, but they're very, very powerful um, uh, stage characters or movie characters or TV show characters. So the cast was Dolly Parton, uh, Jennifer Lewis, Josh Segura, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right, Christine Berinsky, I'm probably not pronouncing that right, but you know her if you've watched The Big Bang as Leonard's mom. She's also in Mamma Mia as one of the um, singers. Um, and Trent Williams. Now, in this um, family feel-good movie, there is times where, if you're really paying attention, it will draw tears to your eyes. Still loved it. I cried on the second time I watched it. Through. Now, I've watched it four times altogether. I watched it when I found it. I watched it when I said I was going to um, use it as my movie. I watched it another time, that's when I cried, and then I watched it last night, or Wednesday, and I didn't cry. So, there are moments that will actually make you cry, um, and it's actually when it's sung by Trent Williams. Um, he's very emotional gripping of a character um, because of what he's singing about, and it really, really just grabbed my heart, went away with it. You know, there's there's some parts in this movie now. It's is it the, the best thing you've ever seen at Christmas? No. Is it a loving movie for Christmas time? 
Yes. Would I recommend it? Yes. Would I recommend it because it's got Dolly Parton in it? Of course. Would I recommend it if it didn't have Dolly Parton in it? Probably so. Um, I'm not sure who the angel character would be, but I probably would um, recommend this to to watch it. To watch, I thoroughly enjoyed. Obviously, because in the past month, I'll say I've watched it four times, and I would if I had the opportunity, I would go out and watch it again. So I actually enjoy it. It's a musical. I love musicals. Um, it's new music. There is no release CD to it. It is just the movie on Netflix. Um, but it's well worth it. Trent Williams sings a part that will just draw you to tears if you're really into the movie. Um, there is another lady who is the wife, playing the wife of Josh Segura. If you've been in that emotion um, or that uh, process, I'll say, because I don't want to give out too much information in this movie. Um, if you, because it's new, and many people probably haven't seen it, because I love Dolly Parton. I didn't even know it existed. I found it by accident because I was looking for something to watch. And I just, you know, you can catch me watching Christmas shows throughout the whole year. I just love Christmas shows. I can't help it. I love Christmas movies. I don't watch them for the romance. I watch them because it's Christmas. I want to feel good. And I get into these habits. I've noticed that when I land on a movie that I really, really like, I will watch it over and over and over. And to tell you the truth, a lot of what I watch over and over and over again is disaster movies. Don't ask me why. Um, I know when I was younger, when airplanes were coming out, I would watch all the airplane movies. When Earthquake came out, I watched that. Burning Inferno, I watched that. Um, right now, it's San Andreas, Twister, Dante's Peak, which I'm going to do for probably my D. And um, Volcano. Those seem to be the four movies that I'm stuck on right now. So it's just my nature. If I have nothing else better to watch, I will. but I will watch something that I've already seen multiple times. And while I'm watching that, I find that I crochet quicker, faster, get more stuff done. Because even though the movie's on, I'm listening to it and I'm watching it, I'm just, I'm, my fingers are flying. So I like it. I just can't help it. So anyway, um, you follow the story behind it. The plot is. I had to figure out what my word was. It wasn't until I started reading it, started talking to it, that I figured out the word was plot. I got PBT is what I see, and it's actually P-L-O-T. I need to learn how to write again. But anyway, it's you follow wealthy Regina Fuller, retiring to her home, returning to her hometown to evict the residents and sell the land to a mall developer, and, and everyone has to be out. Um, so, absolutely love the movie. It's really good. Um, you find out that there's more more ways than you would think to ask people to leave. And um, even, you know, she even did it to her friends that she still had in the town. And there's a backstory that you, as you're watching it, you will come to realize what the backstory is. And it's really tied up in a very nice, neat bow. Neat bow. And I'll tell you, because um, I'm a Dolly Parton fan. I've actually gone through and read some stories and some background stuff on Dolly Parton. And when she was doing Steel Magnolias, I don't think that was not her very first movie that I know. Because, I mean, she's been in 9 to 5. She's been in Rhinestone, which I, I like, which you can't find. Um, what other one? She's been in Straight Talk. Love that. She's been in Steel Magnolias. Loved it. Um, you know, and there's been several other shows that she has done. She's done cameos in her childhood Christmas shows that she puts out. She does cameos in those. Um, I think she's a fantastic actress. But she was actually on, on the set of Steel Magnolias. The I think it was the director came through and told her that she should not act because she couldn't act. And she he didn't know why she was in this movie. And I'm like, why would you tell that to somebody who's obviously done several movies? Um, I think she's very good. I think she's very personable. 
I think her um, her feelings come across very well. I love Dolly Parton. Just can't help it. So, that's my C movie. My D movie that I'm going to do, and I don't know what I'll be working on during that. I'm hoping to get back to my donations. That makes sense, D, for donations. But it all depends on what day I can watch the movie as to what I'm doing. I'm going to watch Dante's Peak. It currently is not available for free anywhere that I've seen. I have it on DVD. That's how I'm going to watch it. Um, it is one of my disaster movies that I absolutely love. Starring Linda L. Hamilton and Pierce Bronson. Come on. Blue Eyes. Pierce Bronson. Um, and I just, I think the movie is now 25 years old. I love the movie. I will watch it over and over and over again. Um, I don't care. I just do. Um, so I'm going to watch Dante's Peak. So I shall see you in two weeks to let you know about Dante's Peak. And we can talk and discuss how that goes too. Guess what? I love it. Until then. Hashtag movie and stitch. Until you see you in two weeks.